<laughs> this is Arthur Sinead with Cooking Couture Atlanta. Listen, I have the pleasure of being able to sit down with people that are making, that have made an impression on my life. Or, and, <laughs> okay, Larry, Philly. I like Philly. I'm just calling him Philly. That's he fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's an actor, a singer, dancer, all around entertainer. He's doing some things. He's in plays. He got an album. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Everybody play their part. <laughs> he, he's the star of one of the hottest shows on Signal 23 TV. Seriously, it is. And it's because of him. Man, listen. And he's so cool. I was so excited about him coming on my show. Then I found out he don't drink. You know, I have several chill glasses. We good. Listen, y'all, look what I got for my non-alcohol. I only drink water, people. I had in the refrigerator, honey. I keep it stuck. I just love me some meat. I had a, a, a bottle left of the black water. Mm -hmm. And look at this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited he's going too. to try the black water. Hey. You see how I tip that glass? We all act like it's wine. I'll just give it you a little like shot. It, it looks like black water. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm my god. I just choose. He's got his black water taste like water. <laughs> Is it as refreshing as the Deer Park? <laughs> Doesn't taste any different. Seriously, he mm -hmm. has a button on. And the button says trans rights or repo rights or trans rights. So explain it to me. Um, so when thinking about it, well, first I think as a cisgendered male, it's important for me to- Okay, what is cisgendered? <laughs> I just found out that I'm cisgendered. I'm learning something today. Gender is like when you identify as the gender you were assigned at birth. So I identify as male and I was assigned male at birth, so I'm cisgendered. However, we um, have our trans brothers and sisters who are not cisgendered, who um, face a lot of strife um, just with everyday survival um, because it's not your struggle you see it as oh it's another yeah. reason yeah. you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. like do you really think um, that yeah. people will choose to be sex workers to survive instead of working at Dillard's or Macy's Damn. or that's what they I mean that's what most that, of that's what happens is they're forced into mm -hmm. sex work because they can't work anywhere else and when your family For puts really? you out on the street when you're like 14 and 15 what do you do you know, so so those are things when you look at the homeless population. So are you saying that people are still putting their kids out because they gay? Yes. Not because they gay. Yes. No, because yes. they trans. We no. talk about trans. We were talking Ain't about trans. Ain't nobody putting their kid out. That that came out. Where do you live? Because this is America. Yeah. So that's people's reality that they cannot step out of is like at 13, 14, I'm living on the street. So now, not only do I not have an education, I don't have a place to live. I don't have a way to earn money. So what do I do to survive? You know, so, so there are bigger problems. Dallas last year, in the city of Dallas alone, 26 African-American trans women were killed. That's like more than Why? two a month. Just, are you serious? So I'm people serious. just killing them just because. Well, different reasons. So like what happens is. Down low men sometimes oh, date trans women. Like, Jermaine from down the street that you think is dating your daughter, but is is also okay. Okay, um, that makes sense though. You see what I'm saying? I really see how that can happen. You really digging this person and then kicking it with this person. You scared everybody gonna find out mm -hmm. or it's gonna come out, mm -hmm. and then you want to beat them up or send somebody. Okay, I got mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Do you think things have changed? as far as gay people are concerned. Just being a gay man, like, come on, it, it just can't be like, re it still can't. Nobody tries to fight you no, about I you. Because for me, I have- In, at well, in Atlanta, a black but man- in, in Atlanta, I have privilege. As Even as a black man, I have privilege. And I think it's important that we acknowledge our privilege. Okay. Because when you, when you forfeit your privilege, or at least acknowledge your privilege, you realize that there are people who don't share those same just ways of life. I can walk into a place and they'll assume because I have quote unquote straight privilege. So they'll assume I'm straight just because the way I look right. and will treat me. But does that, as, that doesn't offend way. you though, does it? Um, it can be offensive. Like when oh, people really? see my wedding ring and they're like, oh, how's your wife? I don't have a wife, I have a husband. 
So, I mean, you know, so that, that would be the same thing if I saw you and like, how's your wife? And you're straight. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You see how you respond? Right. You see what I'm saying? So you, right. just because that is your truth, right. don't uh, superimpose your truth on other people. I, I don't know. You just have me uh, being a little introspective, mm -hmm. thinking about things mm -hmm. a little different. Because what you said is not acknowledging your privilege. Man, it's an insult to others. That's like, man, that's so good. Like, I love that. Because not acknowledging your greatness to try to minimize yourself. Cause see, I'm really big on that. Whenever you minimize yourself, you insult others who aren't even where you are, who mm -hmm. look up to you. Cause there's somebody looking mm -hmm. up to everybody. And so for me not to be everything that God created me to be, for me not to shine, for me not to be the brightest light that I can be and acknowledge it and walk in it is an insult to any and everyone coming behind me that um, has watched me, that has admired me or anything, man, we we can't, we have to realize that we do have some privileges. We do have privileges. And he got an album out called <laughs> Mr. Carter. It's on every and platform. Do. You got what you say? And do. And he got a, I just want to make sure you know who I'm, <laughs> the greatness that I'm sitting next Come to. Come on now, let's shout out to this Instagram. It's Philly World, P-H-Y-L-L-E-W-O. R-L-D, sorry, my brain is not working on Philly Philly World, oh, Mr. Philly, <laughs> whatever, ATL been good to Philly, baby, because he got it. fans in the ATL. <laughs> we educate and elevate as well as entertain. We're both entertainers. We like to have a good time. We're, we're in a project coming up together. I cannot wait to uh, post my GNN. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reporter with GNN. <laughs> and he's running for president. It's delicious. Okay, so you are you're a theater actor, TV, film. You like do you do everything. Yeah, I wanted to wait till your mouth got full and then start being like, do you love me? <laughs> play before Black Lives Matter as well as about him is the one that we're on together on Signal 23. Yes. And then you got Mr. Carter. Yes, Mr. Carter. You do I'm... spoken word. That's the only <laughs> thing you don't do. I'm just... <laughs> you got clothing line coming up. <laughs> you got to say I ain't hate honey. Listen. listen. Support bills, is sexy. Bills got to be paid, Paul. How I choose to live my life as far as I believe in service and I believe and caring for other people. So like if I have a privilege or I have an ability, I have to look out for those who don't care. Like when right. I live in a safe space, right. I need to make right. safe spaces for other people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. It's just a part, that's I what I like that. Like. So um, this wristband I'm wearing, um, I'm walking. So um, African-American, um, the, wellness the walk. website is aawalk.org. Yes, it's um, going to be March 30, 23rd, 2020, and here in Atlanta, um, the African American. <laughs> so I will be working with them and I'll be, um, I guess, like cool. a, a, a little a, spokesperson. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I told y'all he was all that. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, I just want to, I just want to do great things. That's cool. And you are. And thank you so much. Thank, thank you for thank taking you for time out your day. I really appreciate this. Listen, guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Comment, share. But I always say that we got to open ourselves up and be bigger and better and stronger receptacles of love. Mm -hmm. You don't know where you're going to get love. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know. There is no accident. It's no mistake. It was no mistake that our, our paths crossed. And we have to live each life, each day in life in anticipation of what, how is this world, this God that I serve going to love me today? And today he sent me you and oh. you showed me a lot of love. Thank, Thank you. You. Mm -hmm. you see that?